This video demonstrates the steps required to establish a water supply using a CET high volume low pressure pump. The pump in the video is equipped with a 20 horsepower Kohler engine and is rated at 500 gallons per minute at 20 psi discharge pressure. Because this is a low pressure pump, it is essential to use large diameter hose from the pump to the destination to minimize friction loss and maximize flow. Begin by removing the required equipment and tools from tanker 1. This includes the portable pump and gas tank, one or more sections of 4.5 inch hard suction hose, the 4.5 inch floating strainer, a rubber mallet and spanner wrenches, and 5 inch large diameter hose laid from the portable pump to the destination, which could be an engine, a portable folding tank, or a large diameter hose manifold. Position the pump with the intake facing the water source. Attach the floating strainer to one end of the hard suction hose and connect the other to the portable pump intake. Be sure all connections are tight to ensure that no air will leak into the system. Ensure that the pump drain valve and all discharges are closed. If the drain valve or any discharges are left open, it will be difficult or impossible to prime the pump. Connect the gas tank to the pump's engine. Ensure that the air valve on the gas tank is open and pump the bulb in the gas line several times to get gas from the tank to the engine. To start the engine, move the choke and throttle levers to the left and turn the starter key. If the starter battery is dead, the pull start can be used. Once the engine is running, move the choke lever back to the right and adjust the throttle to the desired setting. To get the maximum flow from the pump, the throttle should be wide open. To prime the pump, open the primer valve and close the exhaust lever. This forces the exhaust gases to flow through the venturi tube, which draws air out of the pump housing, causing water to travel up the suction hose to replace the air. Once a steady stream of water is flowing out of the priming discharge, prime has been established. Open the desired discharge, close the priming valve, and release the exhaust lever. Adjust the throttle as needed. You are now ready to flow water through large diameter hose to the destination. Be sure to remove any kinks from the large diameter hose to minimize friction loss.